the Stanford Prison Experiment, conducted in the basement of a typical university with a small group of students, this experiment seemed like an ordinary study at first. However, it was later banned due to the severe psychological trauma it caused the participants. The purpose was to answer these questions. What do people do when they suddenly gain authority? And how do those under pressure respond? The participants were volunteer students. They drew lots. Some became guards, others prisoners. But the experiment quickly spiraled out of control. The students in the guard role became so authoritarian within days that they started psychologically pressuring the prisoners. Humiliation, sleep deprivation, even showing violent tendencies, it all felt frighteningly real. Those in the prisoner role began to feel genuinely helpless, as if they were really in prison. The experiment was supposed to last two weeks, but it was halted after just six days because it crossed ethical lines and caused severe psychological trauma, especially among the prisoners. Moreover, this experiment, which has even been added to textbooks, is one of the most innocent of the cruelest banned experiments in history, as I will explain to you. The Little Albert Experiment, 1920. Imagine this, a baby, only nine months old, just beginning to explore the world, his eyes full of curiosity. You place a white, fluffy rat in front of him, and he shows no fear. But then, every time the rat appears, a loud metallic crash echoes from behind. The baby startles, bursts into tears. After a few repetitions, just the sight of the rat makes him cry. This became one of psychology's most controversial experiments. Albert didn't just grow afraid of the rat. Soon, he feared rabbits, dogs, even a Santa Claus mask. And those fears never faded. Watson and Rayner proved that fear can be learned, but at a terrible cost. They turned a child's innocence into lifelong trauma. So here's the question. In the name of science, is it ever acceptable to cause such pain to a baby? Today, experiments designed to deliberately frighten children are strictly forbidden. Yet this ban was secretly broken with something far darker, the infamous monster study, as I explained in point seven. The David Reimer case. David Reimer was born a healthy baby boy. However, due to a medical error, his genitals were severely injured during circumcision. In their desperation, his family was persuaded by renowned psychologist John Money to agree to an experiment that would end in tragedy. Money wanted to prove his theory that gender identity was shaped entirely by social learning. David became his test subject. He was given the name Brenda, dressed in girls' clothes and raised as a girl. But the problem was that David never felt like one. As a child, he suffered from depression, anger, and constant struggles to fit in. When he learned the truth during adolescence, he decided to reclaim his male identity. Burdened by deep psychological trauma and the weight of social pressures, David eventually could not endure any longer. He took his own life, and in the aftermath, similar experiments were banned. Milgram Obedience Experiment, 1961. Imagine, there is an authority figure in a white coat standing in front of you. He says, you must press the button for the experiment to continue. But what if, when you press that button, another person in the room screams in pain? What would you do? This was the core question of Stanley Milgram's experiment at Yale University. Participants were told to administer electric shocks to another person, actually an actor, under the pretext of a learning test whenever that person gave the wrong answer. In reality, there were no shocks, but the participants did not know this. As the shock intensity increased, so did the fake screams, pleas, and even silence. So the participant assumed the person on the other side had either fainted or worse. The result was astonishing. 65% of participants continued pressing the button up to the lethal level, simply because authority demanded it. Many of them hesitated, their hands trembled, but they continued anyway, because the white coat was powerful enough to suppress their conscience. Think about it and be honest. If you were there, would you have pressed the button? What this experiment showed was how terrifying the limits of obedience could be. Due to the severe psychological trauma experienced by the participants, the experiment was banned from being repeated under the same conditions. MK Ultra Mind Control Experiments, 50-50s to 60s. Imagine this, you're sitting in a room and someone hands you a drink under the name of scientific research, but in reality, it's laced with a heavy dose of LSD. Suddenly, there are flashing lights, strange sounds, attempts at hypnosis. You're thrown into a completely altered reality with no clue what's happening. This was the essence of the CIA's MK Ultra Mind Control experiments. The CIA's goal during the Cold War was to discover ways to control the minds of enemy agents. The test subjects included soldiers, prisoners, and even unsuspecting civilians. 
Some were interrogated for days without sleep, some were hypnotically manipulated, and others were exposed to powerful hallucinogens. Because most of these experiments were carried out without consent, the results became less about science and more about an ethical nightmare. Many participants suffered severe trauma, some lost their sanity, and deaths were even reported. These experiments were illegal from the start. The CIA kept the project hidden for years, destroying most of the records. Yet even the fragments that survived were enough to reveal one of the darkest psychological experiments in history. So tell me, would you ever approve such an experiment, even if it was for your country? Aversion therapy, mid 20th century. Imagine this, you're given something you enjoy, say, your favorite drink. But every time you have it, you're also given a drug that makes you nauseous. After a few repetitions, just looking at that drink makes you feel sick. That's aversion therapy. This method was used in many areas, from addiction treatment to attempts at changing undesirable behaviors. But the problem was that throughout the 20th century, it was also used in deeply unethical ways. Most notoriously, it was turned into a method of torture against homosexual individuals with the aim of changing their sexual orientation. Shock treatments, aversive stimuli, punishments, these practices, now known as conversion therapy, left subjects with severe psychological trauma. The scientific results were weak as well. While it could temporarily suppress certain behaviors, it never produced lasting change. And because it targeted people's identities and freedoms, it became one of the most condemned practices in modern psychology and was eventually banned in many countries. Monster Study, 1939. Imagine a group of children, innocent kids in an orphanage, already struggling with harsh conditions. You tell them you're there to help, but in reality, your goal is to study speech problems. This is where one of the most controversial experiments in psychology began, the monster study. Wendell Johnson from the University of Iowa and his student Mary Tudor wanted to understand how stuttering develops. To do this, they divided 22 children into two groups. One group received positive feedback. You speak so well, your voice is so clear. The other group, however, was constantly subjected to harsh and belittling remarks. That was wrong. Don't speak like that. You're starting to stutter. The result? Some of the children who received negative feedback began to stutter despite speaking normally, or they became afraid to speak. And all of this was done deliberately and systematically in the name of science. How cruel, isn't it? The experiment was kept secret for years because it was ethically unacceptable. It had caused lasting psychological harm to vulnerable children. Today, the monster study is remembered as one of the clearest examples in psychology of how science can cause harm when ethical boundaries are crossed. Which experiment do you think was the most horrific? Share your thoughts below and subscribe to learn more about other banned experiments.